Nigeria has joined the League of Nations with commitment to attain the 90-90-90 target of ensuring 90% of Nigerians have tested for HIV, 90% on treatment, 90% of those on treatment have reached suppressed stage towards ending HIV AIDS come 2030. To achieve these targets, network of people living with HIV and AIDS advocates patient community inclusiveness in various interventions by the federal government. Basse Itaipen reports. She is 17 years old and she has been taking antiretroviral drugs for 17 years. This simply means she was infected at birth. Though she lives a normal life, she explains to me that her greatest fear is dying not because of the sickness, but because of stigmatization. Our love for each other is, true, is like giving us hope to live. If we are being stigmatized, we will not see any reason to live again. My little friend is not the only person with the fear of stigmatization. He has also lived with the virus for 15 years. But where I'm urging the communities and the society at large is that we should stop discriminating HIV people because HIV at this level we are is no longer a death sentence. The good news here is that both are now advocates in the fight against HIV and AIDS, sensitizing the people on the need to show people living with HIV love and care, which is the essence of this year's Candle Life Memorial. We want to call everyone to find heart to accept people living with HIV. And it's just a way to give them a sense of belonging, that they are like every other person out there. They are like you and I that are not affected. Various development and donor partners supported the need to change the narrative in the fight against HIV and AIDS to involving the patient's community. Basi Taikbang, NTA News. This is the news on NT International. More reports.